that was a that was a strike and a half. Wow, that was crazy. Howdy folks, Cal Kellogg here. Well, as you can see, I have horrible lighting. I've got breeze, so the sound is probably funny. I got the camera totally improvised in a weird position, but none of that matters because it is time to talk fishing. It is time for the mid-August NorCal fishing report. And uh, I just heard the weather forecast. If you like it hot, you are gonna love the next few days because it is gonna spike up to like 107. We are officially in the August doldrums. Um, we are gonna have great trout fishing in four to six weeks. We're gonna have great striper fishing in the Delta. It's just getting started. But let's talk about the bites that are good right now. Performance, economy, and rugged dependability. That's what my seven foot, six inch trout and salmon rods are all about. To get yours, go to the Fish Hunt Shoot Productions store at fishhuntshootproductions.com. First and foremost, best fishing in the state, it's taking place out on the saltwater. Whether you stay in San Francisco Bay or you go out beyond the Golden Gate, you can go out of Half Moon Bay, you can go out of Bodega, it doesn't matter. If you want to troll for salmon or mooch for salmon, it's limits and near limits every single day goes up and down depending on the day, but the fish are there. They're big, they're beautiful. They're averaging t about 10 to 15 pounds, 30 pounders, very common. Troll rig bait, mooch rig bait, you're gonna get your limit if you put in the time. Um, inside the bay, halibut fishing is great. Um, stripers, they're showing up occasionally. In fact, Captain James Smith, one of his guys, caught a striper at the dock in Berkeley yesterday. So stripers are around. Um, and outside, we'll go back outside for a second, the lingcod action, the bottom fish action, it's popping, but with the halibut, um, with the you know, occasional tuna showing up, with the salmon, not a lot of people been focusing on lings, not a lot of people been focusing on rockfish, but that action's coming up. The best lingcod fishing typically takes place in October, so we got plenty of time to chase lings, plenty of time to chase rockfish, enjoy the salmon while you can, um, that bite is going to taper off at some point and they're going to flow into the river. Now, let's talk about the river. Let's segue to freshwater. Um, river salmon fishing is slow, but there are some very nice fish starting to push up the system. You can get them in the sack. You can get them in the feather. It's not a slam dunk. It's not even close to limits. But if you get out there, put in your time, the fish that are coming up, they're chromers. Water's warm. They're blowing right on up the river. But again, put in your time, work those key areas, you know, focus on technique, keep it simple, keep the gear in the water, you got a chance of catching a very nice salmon. And that, that run is only gonna build as we go forward. So river salmon fishing, just getting started. The season's been open since mid-July, but uh, it is just starting to come to life now. Um, trout fishing, there are some bright spots. A lot of places it's scratch fishing. Again, just like last week, the fish are full, the fish are deep. Fish have all they want to eat. You gotta put in some time to get those bites. But uh, Lake Shasta, Lake Shasta is starting to come on. Um, Robert Hauer, he's been up there. He's been nailing limits in the morning. He told me the fish are starting to dial into the thermocline. They're starting to feed on small shad. But right now, bite window, very small. You got about 90 minutes to two hours in the morning to get them or it gets very tough after that. So that bite is gonna get better. It's starting now, it's productive, but if you're gonna take a run, if you're gonna travel to go to Shasta, wait a couple weeks because that thermocline bite, it's intense. It is usually wide open fishing and it holds up for hours. Sometimes it holds up all day long. So watch and wait if you're gonna invest money and time in traveling to Shasta. It's gonna be real good. And the fish Robert's getting, they're beautiful. They're clean, they range up to four pounds, just dandy fish, pink meat, good stuff. Um, so Shasta's coming on. Elmanor, it, uh, it's not fishing like it does in the spring and the fall, but it's very productive. Captain Brian Ricucci, Big Daddy's Guide Service, he's been putting his clients on a mix of rainbows, browns, and the occasional king salmon. Some of those fish are big. They range up, you know, seven, eight pounds, average fish, two to four, something like that. Productive fishing at Elmanor. This isn't the time of the year where people think, man, I'm gonna go to Elmanor and catch some trout because it's warm. It's the dog days. But Brian, Brian's a stick. He's the best fisherman on the lake. He knows how to get them. And if you wanna get some trophy trout, book a trip with him, either right now or on into the fall. He fishes Eagle, he fishes Elmanor, 
fishes a handful of other lakes. He is the man. Book a trip with Brian Ricucci if you want to see Elmanor at its best. Um, Lake Tahoe, excellent fishing right now. Not a lot of people seem to travel to Tahoe to fish. Um, if you don't want to tow your boat up there, folks at Tahoe Sport Fishing, they offer you know full day, half day trips, whatever. Um, they're targeting Kokanee and Mackinac right now. Limit style action, no problem. And uh, there is some excitement because they're getting some nice bonus trout. Um, some rainbows have been showing up. Some big browns have been showing up and some big cutthroats have been showing up. So it's a true combo trip. If you go out with the folks from Tahoe Sport Fishing, you're gonna catch Kokanee, you're gonna catch Mackinac, and uh, you might find yourself hooked up to a nice bonus trout, which is, which is always exciting. I mean, there's nowhere more beautiful than the Tahoe Basin. Uh, the fishing's good, the scenery's better. Um, it's just a good time all the way around. Um, that fishing's gonna extend. Kokanee fishing's probably gonna extend for another month at least, and then we're gonna be back to a, a steady diet of Mackinac. But uh, the Big Lake, it's beautiful, it's productive. If you haven't caught a Mackinac in Tahoe and you're an avid fisherman, get up there and get it done. You won't regret it, it's a lot of fun. Um, Kokanee, Kokanee fishing, wrapping up in a lot of places around the state, but New Maloney's, continues to amaze with some very large two plus pound kokanee. Barry S is kicking out some very nice kokanee too. Um, they're just, just a hair smaller than those New Maloney's fish though. And there's some very large rainbows and the occasional large brown mixed in at New Maloney's too, as, as there often is. Um, Got to put it again, got to put in your time. And if you go to any of those valley places, that's just not my gig right now. You're going to have to deal with some pretty high temperatures. And uh, man, I, I, I'm not going to sit out there and fry in my kayak, but that's just me. Um, options, options, options. There's a ton of options. Uh, you know, if you want to catch a specific species, if you want to catch stripers in the Delta, they're out there right now. You got to find them. You got to put in your time. But I, I guess the, the main theme of this report is Fishing's good now. Fishing's gonna be great very shortly. The mountain trout fishing is gonna go off when the days shorten and the nights get cooler. The striper action in the Delta is gonna start going off towards the end of August into September. That trolling bite is gonna get rolling and it's gonna be great. And that's gonna coincide with the arrival of salmon um, in, in the central Delta. Those fish should start pushing up river in, in good numbers in September. And you know, the guys trolling out of Vieiras, guys trolling out Ialton, that area, they should start picking up those fish on spinners. Um, on flatfish, you know, on the brads baits. So that's gonna be very good. So to recap, fishing, it's good now. It's gonna be great shortly. Um, it, is a, it is a great time to be an angler in Northern California. I'm signing off for now. I got some chores to do and uh, actually I'm gonna go make a, a bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich, which is uh, one of my absolute favorite meals, believe it or not. So I'm out of here for now. If you're looking for trout gear, great gear at a fair price, go on over to fishhuntshoot.com and I will catch you next time right here on YouTube, guys. Thanks a lot. I'm Cal Kellogg.